It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune. As you can see, I have a whole lot of lines on Ethereum because I was trying to do some swing trading and day trading last night. And I do have a position on Ethereum right now. If you hop over here, you can see that I've got a buy. This was last night, 16 hours ago at 2900 that's and i got about i got 0.13 of ethereum so this is about 500 bucks that i put in there i do have a stop loss at 28.75 but my price was 29.08 it's currently breaking over 3000 as i'm recording this hitting all new highs and if you take a look on the five minute i took my entry in this dip when the dip started to recover and it broke through these two resistance areas there. I got in right about here after this line break, 2,900, and I've been holding since. I don't know how much higher Ethereum will go, so right now I gotta keep an eye close to it. Looks like we may be starting to have a little sell-off, possibly some, some consolidation, forming a bull flag. Medic, looking at it on the five minute, is in this channel. We've got this major support here. Some serious resistance there. It's come up twice, hit this resistance, and now pushed back down again. Looks like it's trying to build support at this 280 area right across here, where we can currently see it's testing. If it can't hold up there, it's probably going to drop back down to 79 cents, maybe even back to 78 cents. If this can hold, that will be the start of new higher lows. So you got a low here, you got a low here, you got a low here, and this would be a new higher low. And we're making higher highs at the moment with a high here, a higher high, and then another high. So a breakout over 83 cents could lead to this back up in that 85 cent area. Dogecoin is still in the giant triangle. It's been trying to test and break out of this triangle here in this past day. It hit at 39 cents, still pushing the downtrend, tested again right here, and is currently looking to see if it can test and maybe break out. If it doesn't, I would expect to see Doge back down to this 36 area, and if that doesn't hold back down to this main support at 33 cents. Waves breaking out for new highs. It's over this old resistance trying to build support right here. If waves can hold this support, we could see this try to test 25 and get a breakout another leg up over $25 here soon. Dash is looking pretty solid right now. Broke back above this resistance line and now this has turned into new support and actually built some support in the 309 to 311 area. And we're currently on a little downtrend, so we have a triangle. Dash is very close to breaking up and having another leg up if not, it will come back down to this 300 area. If it does break up out of this, we could see Dash all the way up at 350, maybe even 375. And Dash moves pretty fast when it gets going, so that could be within the next five hours. Could be another day. Who knows? But we won't know until it breaks up to the upside out of this triangle. But looking very strong right now at the moment. Bitcoin, you can see, is still running into this downtrend. It did break a little bit over, but it's hitting that resistance line at 58,000. We need to see Bitcoin break over that and start getting up to 59 and 60,000 area again here soon. And if it can break over 60,000, we'll probably see it up to 65 pretty easily and maybe a little bit further to 70 could be up to 75 by the end of next week if it continues this upward momentum. Okay, B, the story of yesterday is once again one of the big stories today. Still making nasty massive moves. It is slowing down a little bit right below 44 cents. It's had a leg up, little consolidation, leg up, a little consolidation, leg up, a little consolidation. I think we're going to get held up in this 44 cent area and probably have a curl over and see it back down to this $34 area confirming this new support. Now if it doesn't curl over and it continues to break up, well then there's no telling how high this can go at that point because these are brand new highs. But if you look at the whole chart, you can see this thing is way out of this triangle and way off of the trend line at the bottom, this uptrend. Litecoin testing this 275 area again hit multiple times here in the last couple of days 
we can see this breakout here, we could see Litecoin back up to 290. If it doesn't, we'll see it down to 250. It could hold at 260, but more than likely you'll see 250 looking back at this trading range where it's hit 250 multiple times.